Right, rearming is complete, so we'll prep for startup by telling the ground crew to get on the electric. On the ground power. Everything I see Copy. will be electric. Ground power is now on. Sweet. So we'll do start button. We'll keep our eyes on the RPM and first one is that. Once it hits 20, we do the second one. Second one is that. So our mission right now is not going to be dogfighting or anything. It's going to be have, having very fun and just avoiding everything in the air and attacking everything we can find on the ground. So RPM is over 40, that means we disconnect that thing. Chief, turn off the ground power. Copy. Ground power is now off. Sweet. Uh, we're good to go. Skyhawk doesn't really require much more than that in terms of takeoff, actually. Uh, well, Tudor heading to runway 25. Uh, we might as well just turn on the countermeasure systems. That's good. Very good indeed. We'll switch this one to rockets. Everything will be fired in pairs now. We have enough rockets for that. Just gonna make a... Oh, there's a Skyhawk on the runway. Just gonna wait until that Skyhawk is out of our hair. And flaps. Looks like he's going for air combat. The Vigan seems to be going. Well, the nice thing about the Skyhawk's internal guns is that once we've deployed our rockets, we might as well use the guns for some air to air combat. We didn't really do well with the missiles in that regard. And as usual, remember only subsonic speeds with the Skyhawk, and not only that. Uh, now, I'm checking at 243. Copy at 243. So we're going to l gently lift off here. At least that's what I thought we were going to do. I like the fact that uh, the... Uh, the uh, thing just appeared, despite the fact we were absolutely nowhere near hitting the ground. With our tail. But let, let's not dwell on my failures. Let's just accept the fact that I'm going to mess up. It's Saturday morning, alright? At least it is for me. I don't know what it is in your time zone. So we're gonna head to some to a low altitude, and we're going to make another attempt to uh, support our troops hitting that S strip we tried to bomb earlier, but didn't really get the hang of. Looks like they have loaded themselves to bear with uh, the. RB04. A nice nice missile right over there. So I'm just going to confirm my current course and heading and uh, 
Oh, we actually have a helicopter taking off, an MI-8. Nice. We might as well bust the guy up a little bit. Shooter, Tally MiG-19 near Helicopter Farp. Let's go. If there's a one MiG-19 in there, you can bet your ass it's going to be another one. And I want to uh, focus more on the... Uh, Yeah, Master Arm needs to be armed, too. We're gonna do a pop-up here, so hopefully that this will be enough for sweeping the target area with rocket fire. Our fretboard is lighting up, but uh, nothing that's actually worrying me so far, at least. I don't see any SAM launchers on the horizon. But I do see that thing, and that thing worries me. Uh, I don't know if he's going to try and engage me now. Oh, he's dropping ca uh, cargo. Yes, that is me firing rockets at a MiG-19. That has actually happened. A MiG-17 over Vietnam got shot down by a A-1 Sky Raider with Sunni missiles. Or Sunni rockets. And that is the same ones I am using, so... We have hit some enemy air power on the field there, hopefully giving our boys on the ground some respite in that regard. This is going to be insane if I can do it. I'm taking fire from the ground. Is there anyone flying high just west of Cobolete over the sea? I'm gonna take that as a no. I saw a Bing 19 head that uh, way earlier. So let's see. Friendly A4, feet west, feet west west of Cobalete. Thank you for shooting down at MIG. Entry team, additional operators have just arrived. Welcome to the stream, and nice to see you here. Looks like uh, our friendly Hawk sites have got a whiff on the fact that there are a bunch of MiGs in the operation area. So let's uh, turn back, and uh, since we don't have uh, any more enemy MiGs in the area, we might as well keep hitting that uh, airport with our rockets. At least that is the general idea, right? Okay, so one of our helicopters successfully deployed an ammo truck to the field. This is nice. Um, we took fire from what e could be either a anti-aircraft site or troop contingent 
here earlier. I'm gonna see if I can find it, because if that's the case, I wanna give it a good bonking with the rockets, so it doesn't... Oh, crap, not again! More Bing 19s entering the AO. Come on, if you want to do a head-to-head, -head, I got rockets. I got rockets. Come on. Yes! Go away, you horrible MIG! I don't want to talk to you! Don't go near me or any of my vegans ever again! Yeah, we're still taking fire from that area. Not sure exactly from where, but we got a few decent hits at least. I'm not sh Yeah, there is at least... Oh, wait, there's a Sky... That, that's a Skyhawk. I'm gonna let him handle the... I'm gonna let him handle the MiG. And I'm gonna keep hitting the ground targets around here. At least if he can. I'm not sure if he realizes that it's going to be a prob- Oh, never mind. Let's, I'll just let him do his thing. I'm taking fire from- Okay, from over there. Just when I'm out of rockets, I realize where I'm taking the fire from. Ain't that ain't that peachy? Okay, so emergency jet is enough. Everything I have came in the just the right moment because that fucking mig is on my tail. Where are my guns? Guns are ready. Ah, fuck! He's in a good position here. That's more MIGs entering the AO. Let's slow down a bit to see if we can't turn the tables on this guy. I mean, his cow camouflage is not really helping him much. Come on. I'm losing engine thrust. I can't maintain this. I need to get my nose down immediately, or I'm gonna do a top gun here. Okay, here he comes again. Let's pop some countermeasures and use the fact that we're not carrying any cargo to our fullest. The problem is that the Skyhawk can't outrun the MiG. The Skyhawk can do a lot of things, but it can't outrun the MiG. If I go on a... Basic... Oh crap, there's a helicopter over there. If I go on a straight path, I'm gonna get shot down, but at this time point in time, I might need to try and draw them away from that helicopter at the very least. Here he comes again. God damn it, I'm running low on countermeasures too for that matter. Look, there's a helicopter there. Don't you want to shoot at the lovely little helicopter rather than... Oh, he deployed a Vulcan! 
<laughs> we'll see if that Vulcan can fire immediately or not. Yes, the Vulcan... The helicopter deployed an anti-aircraft sight that immediately starts firing on the MiG on my 6. This... <laughs> you can't make this shit up! Oh, come on. Just hit the fucking MiG. Hit the MiG. Please. I'm gonna try and make that MiG fly in a more of a... Thank you, helicopter, for that Vulcan deployment. That was beautiful. Vulcan splash one mega. We are fairly safe, and also... Holy shit, that was hilarious. Okay, so we got another one inbound. I'm gonna see if I can't, can't lure that guy to the uh, Vulcan as well. Ready on the guns. Both mine and the Vulcans, I hope. I am completely out of countermeasure, so if this guy has missiles, I'm fucking bowed. Because if there's one thing the Skyhawk does not have, amongst all the other things it doesn't have, uh, it's plenty of gun ammunition. But we might be in a good spot here. As long as he doesn't have company, we might be getting through this alright. Vulcan has opened fire. And I'm using my uh, better turn radius. It's leaking fuel. Flash 119. But it's good. It is really time for me to start moving back to the base. Not only should fuel start to... Fuel is not really an issue, but ammuni ammunition surely is. So, we splashed that MiG, but... Uh, to be honest, that MiG was already damaged from... The Vulcan fire before we finished it off. But hey, it's all in how you sell it, right? Okay, so we have attacked a couple of ground targets, we have uh, played nice with some of the MiG-19s, we have uh, furthermore assisted our friends in need. Over all in all, that's a pretty good day. So I'm gonna take this bird in for landing, and uh, I'm not gonna reload or anything, I'm just gonna land and gonna let this be it for now. I might fly more during the afternoon when I'm gonna teach a friend of mine to fly the A4. Uh, so then it's going to be him talking as well as me, of course. And hopefully we can set him on the path of flying the A4 quickly enough. I have no doubt he will be able to master it with with uh, Grace and Panache. Shooter inbound, Katasi, uh, runway 05. Sorry, runway 07. I'll do that again. Uh, Kobaletti, runway 07 inbound. It really helps if I can just keep the fucking. Uh, airfields apart. I don't know why that guy took off without any cargo, but 
it might be that he, uh, like me, have bent it. Or he's just out for an Air Force checkout ride. That's actually one of my favorite concepts in the US, US uh, military uh, law. Basically that some aircrafts of popular checkout rides were like higher desktop admirals and stuff like that. Basically just goes down to a place, checks out an aircraft and just goes for a flight with it. Okay, so I got a Skyhawk inbound on me, but that should be good. I do, however, need to increase my own speed a little bit, so I don't go crashing into the ground. There is a popular saying that you always get down one way or another. I'll try to not go down in the most horrid of ways possible. It also looks like the Vigans from uh, the big smokestack left by them have actually done some serious damage on the enemy fleet. The enemy fleet is spawns in a randomized position. So basically, uh, Vigans are some of the only aircraft that... Search throwing flight. Two Vigans returning to Kobuleti from the west. I understand that Vanlien was aware that Surströmning is forbidden in Jorgen. Ah, nice! Air rigs! Sweet! Most likely we have... <laughs> I might be going about this too quickly, but I don't think so. This should be a... A decent enough... Oh, nose wheel is down on the ground. I don't know if this thing has a brake shoot or not, but it doesn't really matter. We should be good on landing it either way. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull to eject. <laughs> Shooter have landed uh, completely and cleared the active runway. That was a fun flight. I mean, I've said this before and I'm suddenly gonna say this again. I really wish that Eagle Dynamics would just adopt the A4 project. Just make it another free bird as a part of the overall Eagle Dynamics package. Now, the A4 may not be the best bird that was ever put into the game, but it's not the worst. I mean, it already outshines the hawk in every single way. So, in my in my regard, it's basically like they don't really have anything to lose by it. They can just add the A4 as an er free early access. Um, and basically update it through their own methods. Considering that they already have the Hornet, I'm not really sure that McDonnell Douglas would make an objection. I really don't think they would. So canopy up. I know that uh, the community A4 team themselves has said that they don't feel the aircraft would, would uh, reach the necessary... Uh, necessary quality control, but I'm not really sure that would be an issue either if uh, Eagle Dynamics just took over the project, so Either way, uh, every time I'm flying the Skyhawk, I just keep get keep uh, Falling in love with it all over again because it's such a nice and helpful bird to fly and sadly 
the fact that it is a mod means that you do not fly it enough. So, that'll have to be it for this stream. We've been at it for more than an hour now. Uh, but it, it was a nice flight here to just end it all with a bit of a Skyhawk action. A bit of a Skyhawk action that led to one aerial kill, uh, a bunch of ground targets being destroyed, and of course the fact that we are now down on the ground again. So, now I'm going to do something I haven't done before. I'm going to try and shut this plane off. And I'm not kidding when, I, when I'm saying I haven't done this before. It, I have literally never... Literally never landed the Skyhawk. Rather, I have landed the Skyhawk. I've just never actually shut her down. But we're gonna check the RPM. The RPM is slowly decreasing. Meaning that the engine is shutting down. So, basically what I did was very simply same thing but start up but in reverse and without the electronic aids. So, however that means we are currently stuck here on the runway with both air brakes and flaps extended. Dear lord. I'm just going to have a bit of a look here, see how it goes for the other planes on the field. And we are done. Thank you for this flying this morning. It's been really fun. And I hope we get to do this again.